Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to create the JFrame. So first you need to create some class. I created this class called Tutorial. Now I have to import some things like import javax.swing and we will just import everything from this package. Uh, now uh, there are a few ways to create the JFrame. And in this video, we will uh, use this most common way to do that, and that is by inheritance. So, uh, this class tutorial will inherit uh, the class JFrame and every method from it. So, after the class name, in this case, this is tutorial, uh, we will write extends j frame and now this class tutorial inherited uh, the class j frame so if you don't know what inheritance means you should probably read some oracle documentation about that so after we have written this uh, the second thing we need to write is the method for initializing a J frame and to set up a few things about J frame. So we'll write method private initialize. Uh, and this method will be void. So it won't return any value. Now in this method uh, first of all, we will set uh, the default close operation of this J frame. So we will write set default close operation, and we will write J frame dot exit dot close. That means when we hit this uh, exit button or close button the whole uh, whole program will uh, shut down or quit so if you don't want to exit and close you can choose dispose and close do nothing or close or hide on close but in this case we will choose exit on close now after we have set this uh, default close operation uh, we will set the size of our J frame, so the size will be set size, and now the size we want to have is uh, 600 by 400. And uh, just to be sure that we will get this size on the screen, we will uh, take another method that is set preferred size and we will write uh, new dimension and the parameters will be 600 by 400 now you will see we have a new import java.awt.dimension so uh, after we have set the size and the, uh, the preferred size of our J frame, uh, we can set the title of our J frame. So we will set title, and uh, in these brackets we will write something like like title of J frame. So after this, we want to set the position of this J frame. Usually when we start some programs, they appear on the center of the screen. So we want to do that and the way we do it, we write set position relative to now.
So now that we have the title of this J frame, uh, we want to set the location of our J frame on the screen. And usually, when we run some programs, they appear on the center of the screen. So we will do that by writing a code that is set location relative to now so this piece of code tells the java to position this j frame on the center of the screen after this uh, we will write uh, back method and after this we will write set visible and we will pass the argument true so this means now the J frame will be visible if there wasn't this piece of code we couldn't see it on the screen now after we have uh, written this uh, method initialize uh, we will make a constructor of this class tutorial so just write public tutorial and uh, in the constructor we will call the method initialize okay and uh, now we have this constructor and this method that is being called inside of this constructor so the final thing we need to do is to write a main method so public static void main now you will write here string args and inside of this main method we need to call uh, string utilities and method that calls invoke later that's because uh, swing uh, the GUI needs to be called in a separate thread than this uh, class. So we will write swing utilities dot invoke later, and we will write now a new runnable. And after this runnable, we will write uh, this cur curly brackets, and inside these curly brackets, we will write override public void run. Now, inside of this public void run method, we will call the constructor of uh, this class and we will just write new tutorial and this is it now it says here assign return value to new variable no that is not necessary but uh, instead of this uh, new runnable then uh, public void run we could just to use uh, lambda expressions now lambda expressions are exclusive to Java 8 so the next thing I'm going to show you is not applicable in uh, earlier versions than Java 8 so we can just uh, delete this new runnable we will let these uh, brackets here and these here and we will delete this uh, run method and just after these two brackets we will add uh, slash and sign this so this means uh, this is actually a lambda expression and why did I show you this? Because this is the cleaner way to write the code. You see, there's no runnable, there's no public void run, override. It's a simple way to do things. 
and I like it. I really do. So that now we have written our code, we will run the program and we will see now that the R code is working. So this is RJ frame and we see the title of it. We see the size is 600 by 400 and it appears on the center of the screen and we can uh, resize it anything we want. So if we don't want to resize the, the J frame, you can write set resizable holes. And now when we run the program, you will see that you won't be able to resize it. No way. So this is it. Uh, in the next video, I'll show you how to uh, override uh, this method uh, closed for closing the J frame and i'll show you also how to manage and change the look and feel so see you in the next video and please comment subscribe and upload